All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Presenting the challenger, Grandmaster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh and he lands a punch there good connection by him on that. Great connect so fast so accurate and watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh nice shot. Nice kick. A sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. 
His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. That was Landon Queen. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Good punch, land. Right up the elbow. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Just unable to quite find that range. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice body right on the elbow. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. into that leg kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And they set. How about that shin? Try to establish that jab. Effective punch there by Lee. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. Such a great defensive fight. Nice straight right lands. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. But <laughs> there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. But then when his opponent tried to straight combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Oh, nice. Hook 
and it's blocked. And... All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Powerful leg kick land. Just misses with a left hook there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Lee's head kick is blocked, no damage there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice body kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. Right? Yeah. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but this is with the kick. And they separate. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at him drive his shin into the other body with that body. Both fighters throwing heat now. Lee gets hit with a kick. to establish that jab once again. Big call punch land. Now we get back to range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. Really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Beautiful strike. Ball left hook to the head is blocked. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And the power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his front of her. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, straight right. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Slips the punch nicely there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him 
in the octagon tonight. Not a bad round, but you're forcing those leg kicks too much. Let's not do that. You have to let it come naturally, just like we've trained. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Can't take any of those, you better check. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Liver kick. Nice head kick. And they separate. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Oh, he caught the kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. Massive knee to the body lane. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Wow, nice slip and an even better rip. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nice leg kick lands. Time his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop it. Now connects with a right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is fighting them up now. Very tricky to that body. And there comes the separation now. Nice. Significant welt to the left side. He got to whip his hip into that kick. Block that kick to the body. Goes to the body there. Beautiful body kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. side hard to get your offense going when your head is, keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful kick. to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. And they set. Cable's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Finish. 
seconds winding down in round three. Yes, what a round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and certainly for one party, he's fortunate to still be in this fight after that big knockdown. Oh, the fact that he was able to get up off the floor and survive to the next round. Now the corner's got some work to do. They got to get water over his head, cool him down, try to get the bearings back about him before he goes back out there and tries to change the course of the fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here, and oh. we'll be in this next round. Oh, right on the line. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that point. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Please kick to the body, that one blocked. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg, so he is ready. This fight's gonna be over these What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, oh my goodness. Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by no. a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.